Hi, welcome to ARE Basics. Today's topic is atmospheric corrosion versus galvanic corrosion. So, what's the difference? Atmospheric corrosion. When metals are exposed to exterior environment, they react to various elements present in the atmosphere like air, moisture, and pollutant gases like sulfur and nitrogen to produce a film on the exposed surface. For example, metals like aluminum react with oxygen in the air to form a thin oxidation layer. This oxidation layer is stable and it protects the metal beneath from further oxidation of metal, thus protecting it. However, when metal like copper reacts with not just the oxygen but also and mainly the moisture and the pollutants, creates a corrosive layer like in this case. This corrosive layer is less stable and is susceptible to flaking. This corrosive layer can fall off and expose the metal beneath. Exposed metal continues to react with the atmosphere to form more corrosive foam. This process that eats away the metal by forming a corrosion layer on the surface is called the atmospheric corrosion. This atmospheric corrosion continues until the exposed metal is completely degenerated and converted into a corrosion film. Galvanic corrosion When two different metals come in contact with each other through water, the two metals take on different roles. The metal that is less noble, as per the galvanic series, acts as an active metal. And the metal that is more noble in the galvanic series acts as a passive metal. The active metal starts reacting with the electrolyte aided by the passive metal. The more active metal starts losing its ions to the more passive metal and through this process starts degenerating itself. This degeneration of metal is called galvanic corrosion. The galvanic corrosion will continue until the active metal is completely gone. The further away the two metals are in the galvanic series chart, the faster the galvanic corrosion will be. Here are some of the questions that you can look up for more information on this topic. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.